So there's two types of respiration. There's external respiration and there is cellular respiration. When we think about breathing, when uh, this is the external respiration, this is the act of breathing, the act of getting long oxygen into your lungs and into your body. Then there is such a thing as a cellular respiration and that takes place within, within your cell. So the mitochondria take the oxygen, incoming oxygen, and allows the cell to process that. The very important point to understand is that our external respiration, from now on, just to keep things simple, I'm going to call it breathing. Our external respiration is regulated both autonomically and voluntarily. What does it mean? A voluntary function is something like raising your arm. The anatomic function is something like uh, your heart rate, your blood pressure. What makes breathing very unique among all the functions of your body is it is controlled by two independent sets of nerves. So it can be controlled autonomically without you thinking about it and can also be controlled voluntarily. You can have control over it. Therefore, you can train your breathing and therefore you can have in fact, effect influence on your autonomic functions, things like your stress levels, things such as your blood pressure, things such as heart rate. And this opens up a lot of potential.